31, I had a question coming off of section 5.4, number 45, and this is asking us to use this graph that we're given right here and use this factor to find our third degree polynomial um, and, and write it that third degree polynomial out in factored form. So when you hear the phrase third degree polynomial, that's a clue that we're looking for something on the order of x cubed. Maybe x cubed plus some stuff, but x cubed. And they tell us our lead coefficient is 1. So I know there's a secret 1 out here. We don't usually write that. We just leave it as x cubed. But that's, that's what I'm looking for. So, so far in my problem, I know that f of x is equal to x squared plus 2x plus 4. That was the factor that I was given, plus some other binomial. And I say binomial, and it needs to be linear. It needs to be of the form x minus k, something like that. Oops, that doesn't quite look like a k. Let me get that. Something like that. Um, and the reason I know it's just a linear factor is because ultimately, if you take x squared and multiply it by x, right, x squared times x does get you back to x cubed. So I'm only missing the one factor. I'm not missing more than that. And just as a little side note, this quadratic factor is prime. If you tried to factor it or solve it by using the quadratic formula, you would get imaginary numbers. That's why you don't see any other x-intercepts here on the x-axis. All right, so with all that being said, we gotta figure out what our other factor is. And you can see right here that my graph crosses the x-axis at x equaling one. So I have an x-intercept at the ordered pair one comma zero. But what that tells us about our function is that x minus one has to be our missing factor. So that's why you see me writing this down here. Now, if you wanted to multiply this out, you could go ahead and foil it. The, the reason I didn't is because the, the direction said to write this third degree polynomial in factored form. So this right here, this is factored form. That's why I left it there. And again, like I said, if you wanted to, you could distribute this. You could multiply x to x squared plus 2x plus 4, and then the minus 1 to the x squared plus 2x plus 4. Right? And we could FOIL, or I should say distribute everything, collect like terms, if you wanted to go further with it. But again, I left it here only because that's what the direction stated. All right, so there's number 45. Thanks so much. Bye.